So John, welcome to Witness Vikings. How does it feel to be joining the club and what are your first thoughts on the challenge ahead? I'm absolutely delighted to be joining the club. It's a club with great tradition. Uh, and But more importantly for this moment in time, it's a, a club with great potential. I mean, the facilities here are first class, the training facilities are, and there's some really good players within the squad. So I don't feel they're quite playing to the potential at this moment in time. So part of the challenge in, in the immediate future is obviously to get them playing to that potential and then building upon that for the rest of this season and obviously for next season, which is a real important season for, for the game as a whole. Yeah, yeah. you mentioned a little bit about the strength of the squad then and the facilities, but what specifically attracted you to the role here at Witness? I mean, basically, well, when I left Bradford, I mean, I, I wasn't intending to, you know, t t to come back into the game in the, in the immediate future, but... Once I met uh, Phil, the, the chief executive, he really, he re-enthused me to tell you the truth. And then the more that I thought about the challenge and the potential and the opportunity, the more I became excited about it. And I must admit, you know, my wife and my kids have both been saying that uh, it, it is a great, great opportunity. And, uh, you know, the, the only delay has been me getting my visa from Yorkshire to uh, allow me to work in Lancashire, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, it was, it was a thorough rec recruitment process. Uh, what did you take from the conversations you've had with Phil and the board so far in terms of moving the club forward from here? The, the ambition, the ambition. The, the, you know, they, they want to take the club forward and they want to, to get this club, should there be a restructure in the, immediate, in the me medium term future, they want to be on the, on the right side of the ledger for that. And uh, so there is a great deal of responsibility, but uh, I'm more than happy with that. And I really do feel as if I can lead the the sort of playing personnel and the and the and the performance staff in a very positive manner and help us to improve, progress, and achieve what we want to achieve. Yeah, as you say, with the potential uh, restructuring next year, with such an important year ahead, how much of an opportunity is this for you to to make something special here at Witness? It's a big opportunity, yeah, because uh, you, we've got to look where we are now. And at the minute we're we're in a bit of a hole, and uh, you know there's been a number of losses, co consecutive losses as well. Just one one break within that, so we are in a bit of a hole. But what we've got to do is accept that, look where we are, address that situation, and then make sure that we come out the other end and attempt to finish the season in in a positive manner, which will allow us very much to build for next season. I mean, th there is work going on in the background that's quite exciting for 2023 uh, but obviously there's an immediate problem as well that's got to be rectified definitely yeah but you have you have obviously vast experience in sport of course two-time challenge cup winner with experience at international level as well how much will this experience benefit a young hungry side uh, how much will this side benefit from that experience uh, well I, I think you know if you've got the t-shirt and, and you've seen it you've got the t-shirt it always helps because I, I think you can keep a you, you don't experience the same highs and you don't feel the same lows, you can maintain a, a modicum of, of, of sort of reasonableness, shall we say, within all situations. And that's what we've got to do. And I think this situation that the club's in at the minute can be rectified, uh, but it, and it's, it, there's simple measures to do that. But what it's got to be is the fact that everybody's got to buy into it. The, those 13 players or 17 players within the a game day squad have got to play as a group, as a single group. And that will be the best way out of this, to work hard, to become one as a group and to make sure that we really are a team going forward. Definitely, yeah. As part of the recruitment process, you gave a thorough assessment of the current squad. How much are you looking forward to meeting those players and working with the group? Very much so, yeah, very much so. Because, the, yes, I, I did give a, a thorough assessment of, of the current squad and I did point out the, the negatives, but I also pointed out the positives and there were plenty of that. And what we need to do is build upon the, the positives, the good points, and make sure we attempt to eradicate the, the negatives or at least minimise them so that we can turn, first of all, performance round. Then, obviously, if you turn performance round, what follows from that is obviously results. Definitely, yeah. You've faced with this many times in your career. How have you found them as opponents, both over the years you've been coaching and more specifically recently? Yeah, well, I mean, witness, as, as we spoke earlier, I mean, I came here when it was Norton Park and played against one of the great witness teams in, in, in the sort of 80s. So, you know, I, I remember it, perhaps not with fond memories then, but then as you, as you become more of a rugby league aficionado and a bit of a nerd, whenever I come here, I've always loved coming here. And it, it is a club, as I've said, with, with great tradition. 
and in recent terms, I mean, we, we, when I was coaching Bradford last year, we came up with two losses, one a very hurtful one here by one point with a last minute kick from Jack Owen. So I know full well what, what they're capable of. And I also know full well what the what's going on behind the scenes. And I'm very, very impressed with what the board of directors and, and the chief executive have remarked upon and, and where they want to go with regard to the, the future structure and the infrastructure of this great club. Yeah, you have got a proven record of getting the very best out of your players. How do you think that you can get the best out of this squad with the players we've got here this year? Well, I think what we've got to do is make it nice and simple. I think, first of all, everything's got to be simplified so that every individual knows their roles and responsibility. And I think once everybody knows the roles and responsibility, they can buy into that and then they can add bits on top, which helps the team. And I want them to enjoy playing for each other as well and, and play with some mateship. So that if your mate misses a tackle, you're happy to make that extra effort to cover for him. Or if there's a, a, a kick downfield, you're happy to, to get up there with that defensive line so there's no chinks within it. So there's all little 1% plays that you really, effort-based plays that really need addressing and really need to look at. And that inevitably will improve performance. And once that confidence and belief comes back, I believe you'll see a completely different team. But at the minute, it's pretty apparent to, to everyone. I, I've watched a number of games recently, and it's apparent that the, the confidence is low and the self-belief is. So that's, that is the immediate challenge. It is, yeah. Just finally then, how important are the fans in getting behind the team now as we look to push towards getting back to form? Yeah, well, it, it, the fans are great here. I mean, you know, it, it's, it's got a great fan base. And, and obviously, the, with that, there comes an element of pressure, but the fans have got to accept where we're at at the minute and then also accept that the club is working hard and building for the future, and that's what we'll endeavour to do. And I'm sure that they will see that, first of all, on the field of play, but secondly as well with recruitment to possibilities for next year.